what is message message is the content of communication in communication process we see that sender transmits something to the receiver sender sends something to the receiver sender communicates with the receiver what is that the sender communicates the actual content of that communication is the message so if a sender is singing a poem for the receiver then that poem message of the poem meaning of the poem becomes content that is the message when we understand what is communication we always learn that communication is exchange of ideas thoughts and feelings these ideas information thoughts feelings are the messages what gets transmitted transacted transferred from sender to receiver is the message now sometimes these messages are in the form of objects do you see the cute teddy offering rose to someone now this rose is an object but yes that rose itself is a message because that rose is conveying some feelings this written words happy birthday is also a message this can be conveyed orally or through written message maybe in the form of greetings sometimes spoken words are messages when teacher lectures in the class his or her spoken words are the message which reach to the students sometimes we are recording our voice and we are trying to reach to the receivers so our recorded voice also becomes a message message is very important element in communication nature of communication depends upon the message to be conveyed the entire communication process changes if the nature of message changes as you have seen in these examples the nature of communication changed because of the message when message was in the form of feelings nature of communication was in the form of objects or sometimes spoken words or sometimes written words message is a signal or combination of signals that serves as a stimulus for a receiver you see some signal or you hear some signals language is also a combination of signals so all these signals received by a receiver work as stimuli we get a stimulus from the sender and then we tend to respond to it if an angry mother's eyes are stimulus for a child teacher's angry face or happy face can be stimuli to the learners the form of message is actually some signs and some symbols whenever we talk about verbal communication we use some language and we all know that the language is a combination a set of some signs some symbols in every communication in every culture there are certain signs which are understood by the sender as well as the receiver and this sets of signs and symbols work as messages responsibility of the sender is to understand the set of signs and symbols known by receivers and use exactly the same signs for example if receivers are not understanding signs of the sender there cannot be communication you have always seen that to communicate with some hearing impaired persons special signs are used these signs are perceived by the hearing impaired person because the hearing impaired person cannot listen and understand the verbal messages so if the person 
the sender uses the same signs which the receiver knows, communication is always effective.